hello everyone let's look at uh, the question six of the previous question paper where you had to create a database called MedFund. so we are using microsoft access let's look at this question 6.1 use microsoft access and create a database using the file name MedFund. so when you open microsoft access to create a database make sure that you select blank database like i click it now and then now the database should be given a name so this is where i'm going to type medfund as the name of the database so when you type medfund it means that it is going to save this in a folder where everything will be updated as you work in the database so when i'm going to click create i should actually know where it's going okay so the first thing that i will do after typing the name here i will specify the location by clicking here and then i will have to choose where my database should be saved so i'm going to save this database in my documents i will click documents now there it is so i know that in my documents folder i'm expecting to find medfund which is my database file so i'm clicking ok then i click, click create now this space is called a design view where now i'm going to be creating the columns according to the descriptions and the instructions so i'm going to change this view so that i can be able to work on the design view of this table one i'm clicking view design view then the table must also get a name just like a database so when we look at the instruction again there they say create the following structure so we are not given a table name but when we look down there 6.3 says save the table name as question 6 okay and your examination number so it means the table that we are creating this is the name question 6 and the examination number so when i'm there on my database i'm just going to type question 6 here and then here it will be your examination number okay so when i click ok that is my table name as it is like that so now i'm under design view now in this design view i have to create all the column names that should form part of the table question six examination number so when we look at the instructions there they say medical plan managed care risk contribution disability cover implementation date exam number so all these are going to be my columns the columns of the table so i have to list them in the design view and also specify the data type and also to specify how many fields will go inside this table so now i'm going to go back to my database and then now when we we start you will see that already you are given a column which is id so we need to modify and remove what we don't have in our question paper and include only what we have so i'm replacing that id with medical plan so medical plan according to the instructions should be a text field not a, num a number so i click here and change it to text so i'm just going to make it short text then when i go to medical uh, okay managed care which is going to be the second one managed care managed care should be text also so i'm going to leave it as text and then risk contribution risk contribution okay risk contribution should be currency so i'm going to change here and make it currency and then i'm going to have 
disability cover disability cover disability cover so when i type it there then i will have to change the data type of disability cover according to the instructions so it's going to be yes or no when i click there i will have to choose yes or no there it is and then now implementation date implementation date is going to be a date field then i change there make it date and time so you don't find an option of only date when you go there it's either date or time then that field can accommodate either a date or a time depending on what you will put there later on when we actually insert the records so now i'm going to look at the next one which is going to be examination number so examination number is where you actually type in your id number so now i'm just going to write examination number and then examination number says text field so i'm going to change it here to be text I can make it text long text or short text doesn't matter and then now it should be uh, like this because we are going to specify the number of characters let's start with medical plan according to the instruction in the question paper they said medical plan is a text field i've done that but this text field must contain 13 characters and this one is 13 characters managed care risk contribution two decimals in the currency disability should be true or false field and then implementation date should be short so now examination number is uh, 13 characters of text so all these characters is what we are going to look at now okay so now when i go back to my work i will see that medical plan short text when i go down there to the properties these are the properties area field size is 255 now this must change to be 13 okay now medical plan okay yeah it's done managed care when i click there on managed care managed care field size is 255 also must change to 13 now all these things that i'm typing remember they are coming from the question paper here where they are specified after the data type then i go again to my work and then i'm going to change risk contribution the currency says two decimals so when it's currency there you can see the format this is currency so i need to change this currency to be a uh, two decimals so when you click there you will see that the format will appear to show different currencies so i'm just going to go and say decimal places there it says auto when i click there drop down then i can see the numbers that will represent those decimals then I will say two. So that is how you change currency to have decimal. It's represented by the caption decimal places. That's where you will choose how many numbers you want. Disability cover, yes or no. So yes or no there, there it is. So if you look there on format under yes or no data type, if I click there on format and choose drop down you will find true or false then i can choose true or false that's how you do it and then implementation date date field should be a short date so if i go there and then the format of a date when i click there to drop down i'm going to look for short date there is short date that is how you choose it and then a uh, examination number should be 13 characters because it's text so you click there then fill size you click there and then you change 255 to 13 characters 
then now i've changed all my data types i've changed all the fields then i'm going to make sure that i update this by clicking the icon save there click it so when i click it it will update the database that we have specified in the beginning which we all know that is in my documents i don't have to save like other applications where i have to specify that i'm saving again and so on so now obviously this is the structure it is not the database table which is going to hold the records as yet we are just designing the structure here whereby we are later going to view the table and fill in the records that we are going to be given okay so now you will find that you are told to print the structure of the database so this is the design so after designing all these things that i did i will close here so i've closed the design but my database is still open so now now i'm going to show you how to print the structure so that we have a document as a page that shows all this information that we have been busy putting so it, it is a process of uh, going to different tools whereby you actually retrieve that information so i'm going to show you in the meantime you can click there where it says subscribe at the bottom and also click like and share so that everyone can view this video right so now i'm going to click database tools as i'm printing the structure then i go to database documenter and then i tick the table that i want the structure from and then after ticking the table there i will go to options the reason why i go to options is because probably maybe you want to remove the properties or you want it to print with the properties or you only, or only want to show the name and fields in the index it's up to you what you want to show so if they don't say properties you remove properties if they want properties you will put it like that right let's look at the instruction here they say print the structure of the database on one a4 page portrait do not print any properties or extra field names so when i go to my work again i'm not going to print properties and then we don't want extra field names so include for fields i include all of them include for indexes nothing okay i don't want extra things right so now after doing this i click ok right so now when you click ok there you are then you click ok again there so you will see now it's loading a document which is a page that shows all my columns and all the data types and data fields field sizes that i've been specifying throughout mm -hmm.